There's a lot of conversation out there about the large Lionel couplers and that they don't couple well at all unless you bash cars together and then sometimes they still won't couple. Well, there's a way to fix that on a lot of the cars. Some of the worst offenders I've found are Atlas cars. Their springs for their couplers tend to be really, really stiff. So I've got an Atlas car here and we're going to fix it. Right now it's got the original couplers on it and I've got to push pretty hard to get those knuckles to close. I've had them where it's almost impossible even with your thumb to close the couplers, but it's a quick and easy fix. This is the product that we use. It's a 400E-103 spring. It's actually the pre-war part that held the uh, screws on the front and rear trucks of the 400E Lionel standard gauge steam locomotive. They're available from any of the post-war and pre-war parts suppliers. Uh, I paid 25 or 30 cents a piece for them. The highest I've ever seen them is 50 cents a piece. We're going to take one of these springs, so at most that's 50 cents, and we're going to fix this car with it. We cut the spring in half. Just take your cutters, put it about in the middle. And now we've got two of them, we're ready to go. Take a small Phillips screwdriver. And you undo the screw underneath that holds the coupler armature. There's the old Atlas spring. And if you take it in your fingers and squeeze it, there's a lot of resistance. If you take one of these, you can compress the whole thing and it, there's hardly any resistance at all. The, the steel is very, very thin. So we just take that spring, put it back over the armature, take the screw, back in and there we go and now we've got a car that takes very little very little force to close that knuckle that's all you have to do for most cars and that'll work for any car that has an armature that's got the little spring on the end of it so that's virtually all of the Atlas cars all the Atlas train man cars and all of the MTH cars prior to them going to that uh, new design with the slide back uh, lever next to the coupler arm. Those, by the way, function really well. They, they seem to couple well. You don't have to do anything to those. The only other thing that I do to cars sometimes is I'll test them for closing the knuckle. This one closes nice and smoothly. Sometimes there'll be a little bit of a grab when it gets almost closed, and that's an imperfection in the casting. So all you have to do to fix that is come down, lift the armature away, get it out of the way, and take a small square profile pointed file. And you just go in where that pin rides and it takes about three or four swipes on that angled part of the casting and you'll clean off the little nub that's on the front end of it and that's what was causing that coupler not to close well. And once you do that, then it'll close perfectly smoothly. It makes a tremendous difference. They're not quite as good as KDs, but you don't have to ram things together. They touch nice and gently and couple.